Well, good morning, everyone. Hope you're having a blessed Monday. And we're coming down the home stretch now to Christmas. And time is running fast. It's not a, a dash, it's a full out sprint to the finish line. And I'm working on stuff, trying to get it ready, and there's just not enough time in the day. I want to do some baking and stuff, and I have videos I want to put out, and there's just so much I want to do. More taping. But uh, just never enough time. Wow, I know, huh? <laughs> okay, I'm trying out the Crowley cards today for your reading. Let's see how this goes. Oh. Okay. It's not going good so far, folks. Today's card of the day is failure. And that's the seven of discs. And remember I said with this deck, they don't have the pentacles, they have the discs in instead. Okay, this card reflects the condition of disintegration. The discs are arranged in a shape of the geomatic figure Rebus, the most ugly and menacing of the 16. This is of such evil omen that certain schools of geomacy destroy the map and postpone the question for two hours or more. The gross is cut off here, and we recognize a blue-violet shadow world in the vegetation in which the black plant skeleton produces the seven lead and death discs of Saturn, symbol of calamity without end or ha unhappy ending, not bringing redemption. Oh, boy. Energetically, this card has its expression in the image of the buried or parched land and means material striving without a spiritual foundation, the failure of society, or the sickness of the material. In short, the exploitation of matter without an emotional bond to the earth. Life withers when we inwardly distance ourselves too far from nature and her fulfilled life without the love of nature is impossible. Saturn is the prince of darkness, and the seven dark disks are seen to be barren realms of infirmity and decay. At the same time, it also forces us to perceive our unloved dark side, where we encounter the effects of our own actions, including those of our admissions. In the dialogue with our inner spheres, it is necessary to deal with questions relating to the transience and the dark side of life. Saturn, as the center of limits, here comes into strong conflict with the principles of security, fertility, and constancy embodied by Taurus. The necessity of recognizing the other, usually unloved side, is the task connected with this card. In the professional regard, we can usually reckon with failure during times characterized by this card. In this respect, it can in some cases be a timely warning and advise against intended plans. But when a current situation is portrayed by the Seven of Discs, an optimistic hope is out, th is out of place. The proper attitude is a sober, down-to-earth reaction connected with a willingness to also draw painful conclusions. In the depths of our feelings, this card can be particularly painful because it can signify the failure of a hope as well as the end of a relationship. 
It is hereby the herald of worst times in which, with leaden helplessness, we much, must watch hope disappear and promising beginnings and developments shatter. In some cases, the warning can come just in time to stop us from taking a dangerous, painful step into the void. Okay, keywords now are epidemic, devastation, and degeneration. Wow. So there is a big warning ahead. Danger, danger, danger. Wow. All right. So I don't want to leave you all with that. So let me pull out a room and see maybe if it might at least tell us where to look for this danger or what to be cautious about. He was. Okay, now this room can be used as a magical protector and facilitator. It shows that in the event of an ending situation, we find the start of a new situation. So yes, here is some hope here, folks. Phew. And it's magic to magical protection and facilitation at that. Protective forces are at play. To the ancient Norse, Awaz represented the yew tree. Awaz was a powerful ally to the Norse in their, in their daily life. The yew tree was the tree of Yggdrasil, the great tree which forms the nine worlds of man and spirit. The yew was also the best tree for making prized longbows. If Awaz is a prominent place, no matter how bad things seem, they will turn for the better. All right, so at least this brings a little hope. Okay, bad stuff's coming. But, you know, you are being looking looked out after. Uh, you are being protected. And there is hope. All right. So sorry to bring you down on a Monday with uh, with that card, but uh, hey, there's hope. And at least there is hope. So let's hope everyone has at least a mediocre of a good Monday. That's all we can hope for. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. Um, have a blessed Monday. Peace, believe, and bye-bye.